Good evening, everybody, to this Wednesday edition of Four Fist You Weather. I am student meteorologist Jake Taylor. And I'm student meteorologist Brayden Robinson, and we start you off tonight with the one year anniversary of hashtag Frozen FSU. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember I did not leave my apartment much at all that day. Cl classes were canceled for over a day, I believe. Uh, one day and then up till the noon of the next day. Yeah, it was a pretty crazy day. I uh, will show you some pictures real quick. You can see ice really forming on the sides. And as we continue on, we got a little snowman out by uh, the Westcott Fountain. Pretty cute. Um, out on the integration statue again. Really just icicles forming all around campus. Just very interesting to see. Uh, this is from our friend student meteorologist Shane Pendleton showing us one of the icicles that grew on campus and you know it was cold and a lot of people weren't expecting it a lot of people were like oh why are we canceling classes but that freezing rain is really dangerous on the roads especially we're talking about florida <laughs> all right and it's always uh interesting but what was really unique is down this far south we almost never see temperatures uh suitable for that kind of precipitation we were seeing our low that day was 27 or uh, it was in the upper 20s and uh, we needed to make sure the temperatures would stay that low so the precipitation could form. That's right, and you know, we have a model right now, 10 days out, showing a little bit of snow making our way out, but that's 10 days out. We're like wish casting at that point. Uh, but we have a lot for your show tonight. We'll go ahead and throw it out to your overview, and we will be talking about the Seminole Futures Career Fair. First up, that is the model from Grind from 1 to 4, and it's going to be about 60 degrees. So pretty nice, and grab a coffee, great weather for walking, it's out at the Civic Center, so you're going to have to go do some walking out there, um, but bring a resume, bring your, uh, what's it called, sorry, bring a resume, bring your business casual, look nice, hashtag hire a null. So for your weather headlines, chilly nights ahead, some seasonable afternoons, and the rain returns on Sunday. We'll talk a little more about that later in the show, but right now, just know the next three days are going to be beautiful. But tonight, 32 degrees. Make sure you put on a jacket. Got some areas of frost out there. And tomorrow, you know, it's going to get pretty warm, but we'll tell you how warm it's going to get in just a couple minutes. But we're going to go ahead, transition into this blizzard that's been happening on the northeast and what we call a forecast bust. Tell us a little more about that, Jake. Well, the, the media has really been throwing that term around. New York saw significantly less snow than was expected. I, they were calling for upwards of 20, 20 plus inches in New York. We didn't see that. It was three to six inches. So the media has really been slashing it and saying it was a forecast bust. And uh, really it came down to one or two teams of weather forecasters that made uh, an assumption they were wrong with their models and that blew, uh, busted the forecast, basically. That's right. And you know, a lot of the media and a lot of other people are saying like, oh, this happens all the time. Meteorologists are never right. We hear it. But you know, this is not a usual occurrence per se. It doesn't happen often. We should do pretty good with our forecast. But you know, sometimes it's not an exact science. All right, and, and to this extreme, the, the whole nation was watching. It's a big city, 20 million people, so there was a lot of pressure on these forecasters, but there's always error with models because we don't have 100% of the data we need to, you know, the models are doing the best they can. Right. And so we're going to go ahead and bring it back to Florida where we're not seeing a blizzard. John, what do we got going on in Tallahassee this week? Well, I want to show you this big image here. This is a whole lot of sunshine on this satellite here. Not even a cloud in the sky here. Actually, there was a little bit of a fire down in McCulloch County because of some of the drier weather. They started to produce some prescribed burns down there. Look at all this dry air in the upper levels of our atmosphere. This is water content up there. Everything here in the orange, this is very dry air. But the good thing is we have a little bit of moisture coming in uh, from the, upper or the southern Mississippi Valley. This will come in as we head into tomorrow afternoon. This is the next front that will come through. Unfortunately for us, we won't see any long periods of rainfall. 59 degrees here in Tallahassee. These temperatures were starting to uh, stay cool for today and also into tomorrow, but we'll climb up during the afternoon hours tomorrow into the low 60s. If you're heading out to the beach tomorrow, southeast wind's still going to be on the breezy side just like it was today. Winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Surf there at 1 to 2 feet. Still a little bit cool on the water there at 56 degrees. The UV index still in the high category, even though it is January. The sun is still going to be shiny for the next couple of days. If you're heading out on the boat, 
Going to have to watch those waves out there because of all the wind. Light chop on the inland waters, a little bit choppier as we head down towards the south, but the sun is now setting just after 6 o'clock here. 6, 11 o'clock, or 6, 11 here in Tallahassee. Uh, it's starting to come a little bit later, but I want to take a wide view looking around the southeast. That cool air that provided the cool air for the blizzard there up in the northeast, that's scooting out of the area now. We're left with high pressure across most of the southeast. You can see that here with winds coming from Georgia down into the Bay Area, or down into uh, the Apalachicola Bay there, starting to swing out of the east as we head into the overnight hours. It's going to be light enough tonight that we'll see some frost in our uh, outlying areas, possibly in, into uh, Tallahassee here as well, mainly those outlying areas outside of the metro area. And then look at this. These winds are coming out of the south. We saw record highs in parts of Texas and in Oklahoma today. We can see that in Mississippi and Alabama as this warm air pushes uh, off towards the east and into our area by Thursday and Friday warming up. But wait, there's a cool front pushing through. This is a cool front that you'll probably not really actually recognize, maybe a little bit breezier as we head into Friday morning there. And then Friday afternoon, that cooler air starts to work in, keeping Friday clear. And then Saturday, we're starting to work in on those rain chances. But that front continues down towards the south, bringing in cooler air as we head into Friday. Heading out to the tuck this, this evening, we're looking at 7 o'clock, the game time there. Temperatures falling down to 55 by game time and then 45 as we head towards the after part of the game. And then as we head into tonight, we're looking at 32 degrees here tonight. Here in Tallahassee, 33 in St. Mark's, a little bit of frost working into the area. But we're going to take a look around the southeast now here with Casey. Thanks so much, Jonathan. Let's get right into it here. And you can avoid the big weather story that's pretty noticeable here is the weather situation out toward Dallas and Abilene. They're in the upper 70s, low 80s. That's very unusual for this time of year to be seeing temperatures that are this warm. Now down toward the southeast in our area, much cooler. 59 degrees here in Tallahassee, 55 up toward Atlanta, and 50 in Nashville. Much cooler conditions as we push further to the east here and further in toward the southeast. Now temperature changes over the last 24 hours. It is a little bit cooler today than it was yesterday at this time. We're talking about a two degree dip in temperature from what it was yesterday at this time to what it was today at this time at the regional airport. It made it a pretty nice day across the area, a little on the cool side walking across campus, but overall pretty nice. You can see some areas are warmer than yesterday. Atlanta warming up 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. Those current winds, they're not too big of a factor here in Tallahassee. Right now, in fact, we're calm. Making it for making for not too much of a factor in terms of any wind chill values. It was a little bit breezy earlier, but you can see the areas down toward our south and east are on the windy side. 13 mile an hour winds in Orlando, 10 mile an hour in Miami, and 16 mile an hour as we get out toward the west, further to the west, out toward areas like Shreveport. Now, satellite and radar again tells the story. Really nice conditions, and that's going to persist over the next few days. Here. Temperatures a little on the below average side, but relatively nice for this time of year. Nice weather here, and you can see getting into that water vapor imagery down towards South Florida, talking about Sarasota, Miami, down toward West Palm Beach. They're seeing dry, nice conditions just like we are. The moisture in the atmosphere just a little bit more moist, in fact, here out toward our area, a little bit stickier um, as we get up toward this area. But again, humidity value is not too big of a factor. Now, and toward tonight's forecast, though, we see 32 degrees here in Tallahassee. Again, nice conditions here. 35 up toward Atlanta. Again, relatively nice, though a little on the cool side. So you want to bring a jacket if you're going around the area. Tomorrow, a nice day, 65 degrees Tallahassee. 71 downstate Orlando. Again, a nice day. And into your Friday, we'll be seeing temperature nice as well. 67 into toward Tallahassee by Friday. But right now, let's take it back to the desk as we take it over to Braden and Jake. All right, thank you, Casey. And you know, uh, John teased into a little bit. We are seeing some record warmth out toward the Midwest, again, creeping into Texas right now and into Alabama. But really, out further west, it is hot outside. Oh yeah, Midwest and Western uh, U.S. are seeing, well, Death Valley once again, back in 1962, set its high record at 87 degrees. Well, it did it again yesterday. And then Imperial, Nebraska shattered its high temperature by 6 degrees, up to 77 degrees for the month of January. So, And, you know, I like the pool, so maybe I need to move out there to Death Valley. I'm sure they have a couple pools over there. 
gets pretty hot in the summer. Was... So <laughs> maybe a good time to get into the pool. Well, yeah, the warmer temperatures, I mean, they do have their uh, pros. They can lead to lower electric bills because you're not warming your house as much, but also got to be careful with uh, the ice ice in the northern regions can become more thin and lead to hazardous conditions. But. You betcha, but like I said, go out to the pool. It'll be a good time. Uh, John, what's going on in the rest of the country? Well, the one thing you miss here on the map, this is the map of watches and warnings. Yesterday we were seeing something that was equivalent to Rudolph's nose. The northeast was sticking out yesterday, but today with just a couple of winter weather advisories in Michigan down into Ohio and along east of, each of the lakes down on the southeast side of some of these lakes, a winter storm watch there in effect for Maine. That's all that's left of uh, the blizzard from yesterday, warming up across the eastern two-thirds. Kansas City, 18 degrees warmer than it was this time yesterday, and this air is coming down towards the south and east. That'll be there for the end of this week here in Tallahassee. Look at all the warmth. Uh, Oklahoma City sitting a record high today, uh, 80 degrees down in San Antonio, uh, nearly 80 degrees there in San Antonio anyway, 77 today in Dallas. Off towards the north, this cold air is pushing off towards the east. 23 degrees in Boston. They'll be about 10 degrees warmer tomorrow afternoon than they were today. High pressure is in control today across the southeast. This is the next disturbance that will be coming in for our neck of the woods. This will be a dry, cool front when it reaches our area here in Tallahassee tomorrow. But really, this is the only thing we have to worry about until we get to Sunday. Across the entirety of Florida, calm and clear across most of the area. The one thing this doesn't tell you is it's been breezy here in Tallahassee for most of the day today. Looking up towards the northeast, this is all that is left of the blizzard across the northeast. Just a couple of flakes flying in down east Maine over towards Nova Scotia and New Brunswick off towards the east. This is all going to be heading off towards the east and we're going to be left with high pressure off towards the western parts of the area. This is also going to filter in towards the right uh, and towards the east. Heading off towards the west, just a snowflake here across uh, northern parts of Minnesota and North Dakota. All the snow being left across the southern parts of Alberta, and this is going to be heading down towards the south. So there are a couple advisories there. In effect, winter weather advisories, uh, the southeastern parts of the lakes, that's going to be because that's because of the lake effect snow machine is going to pick up as we head into uh, tomorrow as these winds are going to come off the lakes towards the southeast bringing in plenty of snowfall there about two to three inches in most of those snow bands setting up tomorrow across the inner mountain west just west of denver a couple of flakes falling there but nothing to worry about they're kind of used to that keeps those uh, ski ramps uh, loaded there with snow across the most of the west Across the country, flight delays trickling down from the uh, blizzard yesterday in, in Boston and a couple of delays around the country, mostly those 15-minute delays from flights coming in from elsewhere. Boston's still sitting in at about an hour delay as we head into the next couple of days, though. Those delays will be going away. Tonight, we'll be talking about 12 degrees in Boston, warmer conditions across the south and east as we head into tomorrow. Temperatures in the 70s across I-10, 30s up north. Jake, what do you got for us here locally? All right, now, yeah, we're going to bring it back into the uh, Big Bend region, but for the next few days, the story is just not that eventful. We don't have any blizzards coming through, so things will be cooling down. But not, uh, into the weekend, they'll be warming up a little bit, and then we have another cold front coming through, going to bring our rain chances down. But we're going to be seeing mid 60s throughout the week, or throughout the weekend, excuse me, and then our uh, lows will be dipping back into the 30s. But today, the all throughout the day, we didn't see much at all. Uh, not much in terms of cloud cover whatsoever. So it was a pretty beautiful day out there. Pretty, uh, it got breezy earlier in the day, died down a little bit. Our winds will be dying down even more tonight. It'll be increasing our chances to see frost and below freezing temperatures, but they'll probably be sticking around 32 for the most part. But around currently mid 50s, to upper 50s is the trend down by, by, the, uh, by the coast, 52 at Carabelle. But for the most part, we're still sticking around the mid 50s, but these temperatures are going to be dropping pretty dramatically to, towards freezing as we move on through the night. But high pressure still sitting in throughout the Big Bend and Southeast, keeping our skies pretty clear and keeping our winds coming in this direction. So not very moist uh, coming along with, not much moisture coming with the wind anyway. But off towards our west, moving towards, uh, moving through Texas and Little Rock right now is our next disturbance being dragged by low pressure system. This is our next, well, when it gets here, it'll be our dry cold front, but it will drop our lows a little bit, probably back into the 30s. But what is this? Let's talk about it for a minute. The arrows are our wind direction. The longer they are, uh, the, the stronger they are. But the real picture to catch here is as our next system, our next disturbance moves through, the shift here is towards 
the, the winds come from the northeast. So when the cold front moves through, we're going to be drying out again, and we're going to have the wind direction shift towards the coast instead of from the coast, or in this case, from the east. So keep our eyes on that as we move into the weekend. We will see our rain chances going back up with the front, though, as uh, it will bring some moisture to the area. But for tonight, as I just mentioned, 32 is what we're calling. Don't think it's going to go lower than that, but you're going to need a jacket tonight. No clouds to really speak of, calm winds. Frost could be an issue again tonight. And then tomorrow, 64, going to be a very beautiful day. Coming out of the south, the winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a beautiful day out there. And then looking at what we've got, great weather moving into the weekend. Then our rain chances start to peak back up into Sunday and Monday, and then another front's moving through Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll just stick with us to find out more about that. But John and Casey, what more can you tell us? Well, that great weather is starting to move into New England, replacing that blizzard there. Finally starting to move up into Canada, away from the United States now. Not before all was white, pretty much across the Northeast. They got 36 inches was the breadwinner there in Massachusetts. Yeah, we're talking about Auburn, Massachusetts. Not Auburn, Alabama, but Auburn, Massachusetts. Now up toward um, Winters, Connecticut. They also seen a quite a bit there, 34 inches. Yeah, they, the uh, main bullseye for that snow is just towards the northeast and on the northern shore of Boston there, up into southern New Hampshire. Uh, but not everyone saw as much snow, and we talked about that earlier in the show. Just a couple of inches falling back in Albany, uh, but just about everybody in New England saw snow yesterday. Yeah, I saw Worcester, Massachusetts, 34 and a half inches of snow, and this was their snowiest day on record. That goes back 110 years. Yeah, in Boston they had 24.6, which wasn't quite their snowiest day, but it was the snowiest day in January going back 123 years. Yeah, very serious event up there, causing a, a lot of school closures, causing all sorts of issues, roads having to be closed, yeah. coastal flooding as well, very serious situation. Yeah. There was even gusty winds, 78 miles an hour reported in Nantucket yeah. for their peak. Yeah, it was kind of like a uh, wintry tropical storm up on Nantucket Island, but nothing like that here. Uh, Casey, I know you've got more to talk about. A little bit breezy here today. That's right, and let's go ahead and kind of get a closer look to home now. And as we do so, we'll see our look at the state of Florida. If we didn't have any snow around here, that's for sure. A really nice day, very clear conditions here across our Sunshine State. Sunshine was the real story here. Really not even a cloud in the sky anywhere across the entire state. We see Tallahassee to Jacksonville, nice down towards South Florida as well. Now, 51 degrees we're seeing right now in Jacksonville. They're significantly colder, actually. Right now, then, Tallahassee is only 51 degrees. Here we managed to get almost to 60, though, at this hour, and be almost near 60, that is. 59 degrees here in the metro area. 59 downstate toward Tampa, 60 down toward Orlando as well. Again, pretty nice weather conditions here. Now, your relative humidity values, these tell the story as well. Not very sticky like it was last week when we were if, when all that rain was approaching us and was over us, only 33% right now is that relative humidity value in Tallahassee, 42% up toward Jacksonville. Again, not too big of a factor there in the war those areas. That's some good news for that for these areas in terms of not being too sticky around. Now, this is a little bit interesting here in its watches and warnings and advisories graphic. We see here in this darker blue color, this actually indicates a frost advisory, lighter blue color meaning a freeze warning. Now, we technically are going to be getting near or below these criteria here, but the National Weather Service in Tallahassee and the National Weather Service in Jacksonville for their Georgia counties don't issue freeze warnings after the first freeze of the year, at least for the Tallahassee area, on or outside of the date of the freezes in toward these areas, making it for a very interesting situation between weather service offices. Now you see our radar weather conditions here. Again, this is just all false return to Jacksonville. A clear, nice day here across northeast Florida, across our area as well. Down towards southern Florida, we have what looks to be a control burn as we get down toward southern Florida, talking about Broward County, getting in the word of some of this near Fort Lauderdale, but again, not too big of a factor. Now, getting into word the forecast for tonight, though, we see 33 degrees in toward Jacksonville, 32 here in Tallahassee, a cool night here. 
What's interesting, getting down to today, we see temperatures a little on the warmer side, 44 in Orlando and 45 in Fort Myers, even 56 in Miami. Out toward Pensacola, they're also a little on the warmer side, 45 degrees there. Tomorrow, nice day, 65 degrees. Tallahassee, 65 Jacksonville as well, and in toward your Friday we see nice conditions persisting across the state, central, northern, southern Florida, nice temperatures, upper 60s, lower 70s, but right now let's take it over to your winter weather with Jake. All right, Casey, yeah, we're going to talk about what I'm sure we've all been hearing about over the past few days from uh, Juno, I believe was the name, winter weather, uh, we're going to be talking about the aftermath of that storm for the next few minutes. Right now, we uh, do, we still actually have that low pressure sitting right about here. Has been causing, so the flow is still causing over the lakes towards the south, some winter weather advisories for many areas that have already seen plenty of winter, or winter action over the past few days. Still got to watch it as until the slow pressure moves off and high pressure dominates in the next day or so. But moving down um, towards the southeast and Big Bend, we do have some freeze warnings, or these are Freeze warnings, but southern, or more to the south, not showing up right now, but for several counties, we're still seeing some frost watches as well for, to in this evening, because we will see temperatures potentially dropping as low as 32 degrees and below with the absence of winds and uh, clouds. But, um, excuse me, over here, this is the remnant I was just speaking of, of our low pressure system moving off towards Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and still bringing some precipitation to those areas, but behind it, we have high pressure setting, so it will be clearing up, even though towards the west, we'll still be noticing some um, snowfall, especially in the Canadian provinces of Alberta um, and on towards Ontario. Really, this whole area in the Canadian provinces, extending to Minnesota, Dakota, still seeing some snowfall as the system moves through. But further south is the system that will be bringing our issue over the, our, our cold front, our next dry one over the next few days. But the only real air delay to talk about is still up in the New England region in Boston. They got a 57 minute delay right now, but they are starting to dwindle down compared to what we saw. I believe it was over 7,000 flights canceled over the past few days. But this is our past radar. Uh, snowfall, really the big story up towards the Canadian promises as we just looked at. But as the jet stream stays arched the way it is, we're going to see more flow into this uh, into this area near uh, Albuquerque and Phoenix, bringing them possibly some more rain showers over the next uh, in the end of the next day or so, and they could really use it. Uh, seeing the the Midwest there, we're seeing the snow start to develop. But John and Casey are going to elaborate on that in just a minute. But the snowfall is really the big story for this segment, and it's really going to be amping up through Thursday and Friday in the Canadian provinces. But in terms of Southeast once again, not much going on. Um, going to be sticking around the mid, the, the the lower 30s tonight. Is what we're going to be looking at as skies continue to clear out and just continue to cool. And take a good look at this right here. It's going to be dripping down. So keep your jackets for this evening as our uh, conditions continue to get more and more wintry. But guys, today we're going to elaborate on the Midwest snow conditions. What can you tell us? Thanks, Jake. Yeah, let's get right into that. In fact, um, there's going to be snow, some more snow in the water in the Midwest and the Northeast. Yeah, it's an Alberta clipper. You've heard that term before. It's a fast moving system. So that means it's not going to bring in a whole lot of snow and it's going to get out of our hair by the weekend. That's right. Those communities we're talking about tonight, Green Bay to Detroit, there will be a little bit of slippery roads around from this, but only expecting on the order of one to three inches there. Yeah, unfortunately that's going to add on to the 20 plus inch snowfall totals in the Boston area over to Worcester and also possibly up into Concord as well. Yeah, there, those areas also on the, getting to expect on the order of one to three inches. We're talking about you know, some areas that could get a little bit more time about Buffalo, Toronto and Montreal. Yeah, luckily those places weren't very well impacted by this last blizzard, so they're kind of catching up a little bit. Yeah, they'll get on the order about three to six inches of snow there. We'll be watching that situation closely for those areas. But right now, let's go ahead and get a closer look toward the weather situation in our area with Brady. snow up in here but you might see a little bit of frost tomorrow mornings on your cars maybe get an early start make sure that you put the defroster on let it heat up a little bit let the engine run and you'll get off to a nice start you don't want to get late so again those chilly nights are ahead but seasonable afternoons you get into the mid 60s what we've been seeing which is nice your rain returns on sunday hang on for that 
we'll talk about it. But currently, it's 59 degrees, clear, dew point down to 30. This is typically a good indicator of what our low temperature will be tonight. I think it'll get that low, probably 32, but check out how dry it is. Your relative humidity at 33%, very dry out there, almost arid air, and that is very nice. But as we get into your temperatures, 59 Tallahassee, St. Mark's as well, Monticello, you are pretty cold, 51 degrees. Caribou also 50, but Bainbridge 55, Quincy 55, Mariana all the way out west, you're sitting at 56 degrees. So we've showed you this a couple times, and it's just interesting to see how the wind is going to be shifting over the next 48 hours. Wind's coming out of the northeast right now, but watch it. Oh, okay. I guess we're not going to watch it, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and talk about your beach. Southeast winds, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Surf one to two feet. Your water temperature 56 degrees, so maybe not the best day to go to the beach. Unless you're in Death Valley, you might want to hit up that pool. 87 degrees. It's going to be nice. Uh, but that UV index still high, so if you are going up to the beach for whatever reason, make sure you grab some sunscreen. On the water, southeast winds, 10 knots, a light chop. Seas one to two feet. Beautiful boating day. Sunset's getting earlier and earlier every night. 611 for tomorrow. So early bird gets the worm. Make sure you're out there before sunrise at 730 if you're looking to get the good catch. Tomorrow, or tonight, sorry, put on a jacket. 32 in Tallahassee, 31 in Monticello and Quincy. Bainbridge, your coolest spot, going to break into the 20s, 29 degrees. And a little warmer along the coast, 35 out in Apalachicola, 33 in Carabel and St. Mark's. But if we go into tomorrow, mid-60s, 64 in Tallahassee and Monticello, 59 is your cool spot with Valdosta. Won't even break the 60s. 63 down in St. Mark's, 60 out in Bainbridge, and a pretty seasonable afternoon. Winds on the light side out of the south, so it might get a little more moist. But make sure you check out that Seminole Futures Career Fair tomorrow. Hashtag hire a knoll. Make sure you bring a resume. It's going to be about 60 degrees, so if you're going to walk to the tuck, it's going to be some great walking weather. Make sure you grab a coffee beforehand. And you're going to look energetic. You're going to look happy when you're meeting some future employers. Bring business attire, business cash, maybe, depending on what you're looking for. And that's what we're talking about. But as we get into the next seven days, it is going to be wonderful Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before our rain chances return on Sunday. John, Casey, let's bring it back home. We are going to bring it back home down at the Tallahassee Regional Airport. They had an actual flight delay last night, and it wasn't due to that blizzard up in Boston. Yeah, but it was weather related, in fact. Um, ice mounting equipment was not functioning, so two planes had to be grounded due to frost. Yeah, it's not too often you think about frost being a damaging sort of thing, especially in January after we get through the first couple of freezes. But with the frost last night, it locks up uh, the plane parts, and it, it's hard to uh, remove those planes from the runway with lift. Yeah, and those flights, um, they carried a combined 130 passengers. Um, they were delayed for three hours each. Pretty serious situation yeah. there in terms of not being able to get off the ground as Tallahassee Airport did receive that 32 degree low. But look, looking ahead, well, we'll see nice conditions over the next three days. Yeah, we will see that 32 again, although I think they probably figured out those de-icers for uh, tonight. But it will be warming up into the mid-60s tomorrow and then we start to worry about that rain as we head into Sunday. Yeah, you might want to look ahead to the forecast as we'll have likely, you'll probably need to grab an umbrella, in fact, as we get toward your Sunday. Now, make sure you like us on Facebook. Also, follow us on Twitter. And you can also um, watch us at any time on Livestream.com. Yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow night for more weather information. High pressure is going to be sticking around. No weather troubles here in the Big Bend area. Sunshine continues all the way through Saturday. Yeah, nice conditions, but for now, I'm Casey Clough. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Bellis. Have a great night and have fun at that career fair.